Good Wednesday morning. This is Micah Mitchell with Madison County Weather Updates. I'm doing a True View Exterior Severe Outlook. I, the setup for Severe has been pretty sketchy. A few days ago, it looked like we, we would have Severe in this time frame. I had it in my forecast. Then the setup didn't really look as good. I took it out, and the eh, setup's still very, very minimal, but it is there. So we'll take a look at how things are. The Storm Prediction Center has most of uh, central and northern Indiana in a marginal risk for severe. There will be a cold front that will kind of drop in. The thing that kind of makes it a little bit sketchy is it's going to drop in more uh, almost north to south. So you don't get as much uh, lift out of those a lot of times. Usually that kind of a layout is you get more favorable severe with a warm front than a cold front. but. Uh, Nonetheless, there is the potential for the storm clusters to develop along this front that could produce, uh, as you can see, no tornado threat. The main threat will be damaging winds. Uh, there's a small, small chance for some hail, but uh, the main threat would be damaging winds. And I would mostly be with uh, two cases. One would be with isolated storms that pop up and then eventually collapse and create microbursts. And the other would be if we actually develop a decent cluster of storms that then begin to produce damaging winds with their outflow. So again, the, the setup's not great, but uh, it is there. So uh, we'll keep an eye on it as the day goes on. This will be a setup data won't necessarily do well with because it's very unpredictable. But I'll show you two solutions just to give you an idea of a couple of different ways things could play out. Uh, what you're looking at here is a loop of the uh, high resolution rapid refresh or HRRR model. Uh, this is running from 7 p.m., actually 8 p.m. this evening through 7 a.m. in the morning. And you can see what it does. It develops these cluster out over Illinois and it kind of pushes through as a cluster. And then uh, some isolated storms pop up then along the front behind that and as the front begins to drop to the south. So this to me is the most favorable setup for damaging winds is for a cluster to develop and maybe be more organized than that and push southeast. That presents the best uh, damaging wind potential. However, if we take a look at the um, NAM 3K, here's a different look at how things could play out. Uh, this you can see the uh, cells pop up along the front, but they stay a little more isolated. So then your damaging wind threat becomes more if one of those cells decides to collapse and create a microburst. So um, you, we'll, we'll see how these things set up, how this decides to set up, what kind of energy it can tap into. We're going to have some decent dynamics with it, not great dynamics, but just enough. Timing will, will be a lot. This will really need to occur probably you know, early evening to late evening. And then once we get into the overnight hours, the severe threat would likely decrease. So uh, we'll keep an eye on And the timing of the front is going to be key also. If the front gets through here a little bit uh, faster, gets in before storms really get a chance to initialize, then that threat would move south. If the front's a little bit slower, that then maybe we have a little bit better chance of uh, seeing some severe. So I won't drag this out too long. I just wanted to uh, give you an idea of what's possible. Again, to my eye, probably sometime in the evening hours, uh, you know, between 6 p.m. and midnight. So if things develop, uh, I'll be sure to update you. I'll go live if needed. Otherwise, just keep an eye on things and I will update you. This is Micah Mitchell with Madison County Weather Updates. Thank you.